Hey guys, so today I filmed this look for you guys. It's such a cool look. It seems really like simple and smoky and sultry, but then when you get like a close-up of the eyeshadow look, you guys will see how awesome the shadow on my lid is. So today I really want to create this look and my face using the new SD Edit Gritty and Glow palettes. They are so beautiful. They come together and also, look at this. They met, okay. Is magnetized work? Because I was about to say, they magnetize together. I don't know why I said on my Snapchat. I wasn't sure. They can magnet together. So they stay together with magnets. And I think that is so awesome. This is such a great travel palette because you have your face and eye side. So the eye palette is stunning. Like, come on. I swatched this on my Instagram story and Snapchat story. And it's so beautiful. They're so creamy, so pigmented. And then the face side is also an eye palette. So you guys can definitely use any of these shadows as, as eyeshadows. And I used every single shade in here for my cheeks. That is how I am literally glowing beyond belief today. <laughs> so if you guys want to stick around to see how I got this look using the new SD Edit Gritty and Glow palettes, then just keep on watching. So I already have my foundation on and today I went in with the Tarte Cosmetics Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in Light Medium Sand and I have my brows on and today I have been loving this. I mean I've used it so many times already but lately I just feel like I keep constantly reaching for this to do my brows and that is the Benefit Cabrow Cream Brow Gel in number 5. Oh, I love this and I use the little brush that comes with it which I think is really really cool. So now for concealer, I'm going into my trusty Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to pick up light first and then go over top with light medium. You know the drill. You've seen me do this a few times already. So what I'm going to do first is apply light in an upside down triangular shape underneath my eyes and a little bit on the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to go over top with light medium. So I'm using something different than my Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend out my concealer. So today I'm going to be using the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79 brush to buff out my concealer on the sides of my nose, underneath my eyes, and over top of my lid. So I'm actually surprised that brush did a really good job of buffing out that concealer. I'm usually never one to use brushes under my eyes, but I like to step out of my comfort zone once in a while. And I think that did a really nice job. So now moving on to powder, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Super Matte Loose Powder. And I'm just going to set my entire face and under eyes. So first to set my under eyes, I'm going to be picking up this powder with my Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. And now to set my entire face, I'm going to go with the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. This brush literally feels like little bunnies are just like applying your powder for you. It's so soft. I could just keep going like this all day. Just, just, I'll just be here. So now for my contour, I'm just going to lightly contour with the Sigma Ore Powder and in the saddle. And that's what it looks like. So now I'm going to slightly contour my cheeks using the Sigma F10 Powder Slash Blush Brush. So if you guys are looking for a really good contour brush, I'm always on the hunt for like a really good new contour brush because I'm always trying out new brushes and I'm not like totally crazy about a lot of the brushes that I have for contouring, but this one, the Sigma F10, is amazing. It's like soft enough that it just really nicely buffs your contour out, but it's not like too dense where it's just going to apply it really harsh and it's not too soft and flimsy where it's just going to be like all over the place. It was just like the perfect fit for my cheek. I really, really love this brush. So I just applied that base sort of contour just a little bit just to have a little bit of a base and structure to my face because now I'm going into this beautifully packaged SD Edit, I'm covering the name, <laughs> SD Edit Glow Face and, hey, Glow Face and Eye Palette. So as I showed you guys earlier, the two palettes come together. So I thought this was just face and this was just eye, but you can use this for eyes as well. And I kept actually looking at the colors. I was like, wow, you could definitely use some of these shadows as your eye sh shadows. I said that really weird. So this is what the inside looks like. Can What? Literally stunning. So I'm going to be using these two shades right here, which is Ray and Beachy. So this one is Ray and this one is Beachy. So I'm going to be using that to bronze up my cheek area. And I'm going to be applying those two bronzer shades with my Sigma F10 brush as well. 
So now that I'm nicely bronzed, I'm now going to do my blush and I'm going to go in these two shades right here. And this is First Light and Gleam. And I'm going to apply this blush on the apples of my cheeks using my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. So now I'm going to go into the SD Edit Flash Illuminator in Morning Light and this is O2. I'm just going to pump out a little bit on my finger, like literally the smallest amount. And then I'm just going to pat this over my cheekbone. That looks so beautiful. You could definitely wear it just like this. Or what you can do is apply this. And then what I'm going to do is go over top with a highlight. It's going to make your highlight even more brighter and more beautiful and beaming. Or you can mix this in with your foundation. Use this as a primer. Use this just alone without any other makeup. Just to give your face like that glowy, youthful, dewy look. This product is amazing. You can use this on your body, on your shoulders to highlight, on your collarbone. It's so versatile. So I just let the illuminator set for probably a couple of seconds just because I don't want it to be super sticky and wet that when I apply my highlight it's just going to go on streaky and patchy and not be able to be like really flawless and blended. So now I'm going to go into these two highlight shades right here and this is Snow Lit and 14K Glow. So using my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush I'm going into 14K and applying this on the highest point of my cheekbone. And then I'm going to go over top with Snow Lit and that same Sigma F03 brush. So now that I am glowing to the point that I have become a star in outer space and you guys can see me down on earth, I'm now going to bake underneath my contour and the sides of my nose and I'm going to be using the Japanesque Velvet Touch Finishing Powder in 01. And to bake, I'm going to be using the Sigma Chisel and Trim Contour F77 brush. So now I let my bakeage set for like a minute and now I'm going to go in with the Sigma Spotlight Duster F37 brush and just wipe away that bakeage. So now that my face is complete and I'm glowing beyond belief, I feel like that kind of rhymed. Not really. <laughs> we can now move on and do my eyes. I'm first going into the Tarte Cosmetics Tarte Lip Palette and I'm picking up Natural Beauty. So with my Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush, I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. And this is going to be our transition shade. I really like this shadow. I love like this light purple mauve shadow through the crease. I'm then picking up Bombshell. So I have my Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. And I wanted to use a purple through the crease because the lid shadow actually has like a purple base with that teal reflect. And I think this shadow through the crease is just going to really complement it. So now I'm going to go back into Natural Beauty and just start running that at the very high point of my crease just to really blend everything out. So now I'm just going to finish off my lash line because I just want to finish off with this palette. So I'm picking up Natural Beauty with my Sigma E54 Medium Sweeper Brush and I'm just running this along my lash line. And then I'm picking up Bombshell with my Sigma E20 Short Shader Brush and I'm just going to start smoking this down here. Now for my lid, I'm going into the SD Edit Gritty Palette and I'm picking up Trip. So I just picked that shadow up on my finger and do you see like how it has like that purple to teal reflect? It is so beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen a shadow like this. It's stunning. So now I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I feel like you just get a great pigmentation and you really get that duochrome effect with this shadow when you apply it with your finger. And then just lightly blend those two together. So like that lid shadow should really just diffuse up into that crease shadow. To highlight my brow bone, I'm picking up Super Mom. And lastly, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using the Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. And this shadow name is so cute. To line my waterline and tightline, I'm picking up the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil in M10. So now I'm just going to line my upper lash line and tight line just to make this look even more smoky. So now I'm going to apply some mascara and falsies and the lashes I'm going to be wearing today are these Vegas Night Lashes by Eyler and Grand Glamour and that's the eye look done. So now moving on to my lips I wanted to do something that was a little bit nude but still a little darker. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm going to go into the Tarte Cosmetics Tardis Lip Paint in Bestie, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. So 
So I am obsessed with this shade of lipstick, and that's the Tarte Cosmetics Quick Dry Tartist Lip Paint in Bestie. It looks so good. I love the shade. It's like your lips, but better. I really, really like it. I really am tempted to leave it matte, but I really want to try this product out. Do you see how cool it is? Look at that. It has like these like blue reflects. It's so cool. I don't know. So this is the SD Edit Flash Photo Gloss in White Flash. So what it has, it's like a high shine lip gloss with blue pearls in it that's supposed to bring out the white in your smile and brighten your smile. So I'm going to try this. I'm really curious. I've been seeing a lot of these like effects lip toppers. Like Sigma just came out with a bunch and this one. I'm really curious. Let's see how it looks. So that is the finished look of my blue and purple smoky eye paired with a nude glossy lip. I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, come on. These palettes are literally everything. <laughs> and also the packaging is so beautiful. Black sparkly and silver sparkly. I want shadows like this. It is. And then together. Come on. <laughs> um, the only thing is that I do wish that the blushes were a little bit darker. They're pretty light. So I don't know if that's going to be great for like every skin tone. But... They're beautiful, they're so creamy, so pigmented, and I don't know, they're just everything. The lip gloss, I mean, is really pretty, it's really nice, it gives you really nice hydrated feel. I'm just not a lip gloss kind of person, so that's just my opinion. If any of you guys have tried it out, leave a comment down below, maybe if someone else wants to try it out, they can see your comment, and you guys can chat, or I can chat with you guys and see what your thoughts are on these palettes and the lip gloss and the flash illuminator you need in your life. I mean, come on, this glow would not be there if it would not be for the flash illuminator. <laughs> so that should be it. If you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box. And also a list of all the products that I use today along with where you guys can find them will be down in the description box. And also a list of all the brushes along with where you guys can find them will be down in the description box. Making it easier for you guys. Come on, life's too hard. We gotta make it easier. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!